Hello students, in this video we will learn how to draw velocity diagram for a crank and slotted lever mechanism. For that I have taken one example. Now in this example, before drawing velocity diagram, we have to draw configuration diagram. That means we have to draw the same diagram again in our sheet. Here you can see that these dimensions are 480 mm, 330 mm, 300 mm, etc. This cannot be drawn directly on our sheet, so we have to take some scale. You, you can take scale uh, equal to 1 is to 10, that means uh, 10 times smaller you can draw this. So in that case, this 480 mm will be drawn equal to 48 mm. Uh, so that is okay, no problem, 4.8 centimeter line, AR will be 4.8 centimeter. But in that case, this A OP, OP is this 90 mm will become 9 mm only, so this will become very small. Therefore, we will take scale 1 is to 5, that will be okay. So, uh, for that I have prepared one table where all actual dimensions are written here and five t uh, I have reduced all these dimensions by 5 times. So, these are a scale taken one, one fifth of this actual length. Now, we will draw a configuration diagram. So, first you can draw this OA which is vertical line equal to 300 mm. So, 300 mm means 60 mm we will draw here, that means 6 centimeter line. So I have drawn one line which is 6 centimeter, 0 to 6. Draw this line, name these points O and A and hatch this to show that this OA is fixed. Now next step is you can draw OP which is making an angle of 135 degree from vertical. Now angle should not be reduced, we have to take same angle 135 degree, so use protector. 135 degree here 130 135 somewhere here mark this point so i have marked this point here 135 degree remove this protector from o to join this point keep scale and draw a line 90 mm so 90 mm means 18 mm long line we will draw here so here this 18 mm means somewhere here you, you will get so i have marked this point 18 mm here line drawn point P marked, remove this scale. Now we will we can draw this AR, AR which is equal to 480 mm and it is joining, uh, it is in the line joining A and P. So keep scale joining A and P and mark here R point R which is equal to 480 mm, 96 mm from this point, from here 96 mm. So this is 90, 95, 6 somewhere here. So this point is 96 mm. So this point is your R. So draw line. Mark this point R. Now next step is uh, to get this point S. This S can be obtained. Uh, from O this line should be extended, further extended 120 mm. 120 mm means 24 mm height. Further you should extend this line. And from this 24 mm draw one horizontal line. In this line you will get point S. And this length is 330 mm. From R to S is 3, 330 mm. 330 mm means we will we have to take 66 mm. So from R as center and radius equal to 66 mm, draw one arc. So this is an arc of length 66 mm and center as R. It is intersecting this line. So this point will be so this point will be your point S. So mark this point as S. So once you have marked this point S. Uh, around S and around P, you can draw two rectangles to show sliders. Now remember that uh, I, I have already explained that whenever there is a slider, you have to show two points at same place. Here S is one point here. At the same place, I have to write another point T which is on this fixed guide. Similarly, here also P point is here in, on this slider, but at the same place, I have to write another point Q which is on AR. So this is must for drawing velocity diagram. To get velocity diagram, we need velocity of at least one point or any one link. So uh, velocity of OP is given. So this velocity you crank OP uh, of this mechanism rotates at 100 RPM in counterclockwise direction. So in counterclockwise direction, OP is rotating with 100 RPM. So angular velocity omega can be calculated. Angular velocity will be equal to 2 pi n by 60. 2 into 3.14 into n is 100 given divided by 60. From this you are getting 
angular velocity as 10.47 radian per second. Once you get this angular velocity, you can determine velocity of P with respect to O or absolute velocity of P which will be perpendicular to OP and value of this VP will be R using R omega formula omega OP into OP. Here OP I have taken OP is 90 mm. 90 mm you have to take same values here 90 mm but it is I have converted this into meters so you are getting velocity of P in uh, is equal to 0 0.942 meter per second now, uh, now we have to draw velocity diagram for that we have to take some scale so I have taken scale equal to 0 0.2 meter per second equal to 1 centimeter so I have divided this velocity by 0 0.2 so 4.7 centimeter you are getting so this velocity will be represented by a line equal to 4.7 centimeters. Now what will be the direction of P with respect to O? So this direction should be towards, uh, this direction should be perpendicular to OP and towards this direction because this OP is uh, rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So first step is uh, mark all the fixed points at one place. So I have marked one, one point here uh, and all the fixed points I have shown here. So these fixed points are O, A and T which is on fixed guide. So three points I have marked at same place. Now we will draw VP that is velocity of P with respect to O. So O point we have from O we will draw one line which is perpendicular to OP. So keep your roller scale perpendicular to OP. Now roll it, bring here. Now once it reached here, you have to draw one line in downward direction which is equal to 4.7 centimeter and it will represent 0 0.942 meter per second. So I have marked this point 4.7 centimeter away from here and joined this line. So this line is your velocity of P. So mark this point as P. So this point is P. Now next step is uh, you have to, we will determine velocity of Q for that. Uh, Velocity of Q with respect to A. So you can see this so Q is on this AR in this guide. So velocity of Q with respect to A will be perpendicular to AQ. So perpendicular to AQ, we will draw one line which is uh, which will be perpendicular to AP. So I have kept this roller scale perpendicular to AR and then bring this roller scale here at A. So this point is A. From here draw one line, in this line you will get point Q. So this point Q will lie in this line. Another thing, this velocity of P with respect to Q or velocity of Q with respect to P, the relative velocity between Q and P uh, will be along this AR. So keep your roller scale pa parallel to this AR and then draw a line through point P. In this line you will get Q. Now Q should be in this line at the same time Q should be in this line. So uh, that means it should be in intersection, uh, it should be at this intersection point. So mark this point as Q. So this is your Q. So velocity of Q is obtained here. Once you get point Q, you can get point R here in this velocity diagram. Now you can see that A, Q and R, all these three points are in same link. So this in same li same link in same line. Therefore, here also R will be in same line. That means A, Q, and R will be somewhere here. So this R can be obtained by using some formula. So I have using this formula A R by A Q. This formula you can develop your own. Here you have to take A R and a uh, here I have taken A R and A Q. So this A R and then AQ. These two lengths I have taken. You can take ratio of any two lengths between between these three points A, Q and R. For example, you can take uh, AQ divided by QR also. Here I have taken AR by AQ. You can take AQ divided by QR. In that way also you can uh, make this formula. Um, only thing you should remember that this uh, we are determining point R here. So R should not appear in both numerator and denominator. So R should appear only once. Otherwise you can write anything here A between A, R and Q. Once you have written this capital A R divided by capital A Q, you have to write equals to same A R divided by A Q. So same A R divided by A Q but in small letters. In this way you can get this point R here. So here AR and AQ you can get using scale, you just keep scale here. So from A to R you can see this is 9 point, uh, this is 9.6 
already we have drawn this length as 9.6 cm and AQ from A to Q when you see here AQ 7.3 cm so I have written 7.3 cm you have to measure these two lengths uh, from the configuration diagram write these two here and equals to AR which we don't know here we have to determine this AR only and AQ measure this AQ length so AQ is from A to Q this length is 3.7 so you can see that this length is 3.7 so I have written here 3.7 once you get this value 3.7 you can calculate AR so AR is equal to from simple cal use user calculator and determine AR equal to 4.87 from O draw a line uh, draw uh, mark a point which is at a distance of 4.8 centimeter from this A so I have marked this point so this R is at a distance of 4.87 so this is 4 4.87 so once you get this point R, now you can determine uh, position of S. Now to get this point S, from R you have to draw one line which is perpendicular to RS. So keep your scale here. So when you keep your scale, uh, roller scale perpendicular to RS and then bring this roller scale here to here at R. And from R draw a line which is perpendicular to RS. In this line, in this line you will get point S. But at the same time, you can see that point S uh, with velocity of point S with respect to T, which is on this fixed guide, will be along this line. So S is moving along this line. So velocity of S should be horizontal. So from T, this is point T, draw one line which is horizontal. So in, li in this line also, you should get S. That means at S should be intersection point here. So mark this point S here. In this way, you have you have completed velocity diagram for this crank and slotted lever mechanism now what you have to determine here determine the velocity of the slider so we have to determine velocity of s so velocity of s absolute velocity of s will be uh, this line o to s or t to s so this you can determine so i have drawn this arrowhead so at this particular moment at this particular moment s is traveling towards left side in this direction left side direction and velocity will be equal to vector ts so this length measure this length so keep scale and measure it 4 point you are getting 4.8 centimeter from this 4.8 centimeter you convert this into scale this is 0.2 meter per second so multiply it with 0.2 so you will get 0 0.96 meter per second so answer is the velocity of this slider in this particular moment is 0 0.96 meter per second towards left side direction towards this this direction now another two things we have to determine is also we have to find maximum velocity of the slider during cutting and return stroke now here i have drawn two extreme positions of ar so this is the extreme left position of ar and this is the extreme right position of ar when this op is at this position so this is op so i have drawn one circle uh, for uh, uh, with radius equal to this crank radius op now when op is at this position it is in ar will be in extreme left position and when op is at this position ar will be an extreme right position so these are the two extreme position of this slider this is the leftmost position and this is the rightmost position when this op moves from this position from this position to this position that means when it is rotating anti-clockwise direction and moves from this position to this position that means it is moving from this so slider is moving from this position to this position now this position uh, this moment will take more time because uh, this op is rotating with uniform angular velocity now you can see that to reach from this position to this position it has to travel more angle compared to when it is moving from this position to this position so therefore time taken for reaching this slider from here to here will be more compared to when this slider is moving from this position to this position so this must be cutting stroke because cutting stroke takes more time and return stroke which is an idle stroke will take less time so this is your cutting stroke and similarly when op moves from this position to this position that means when it takes a uh, a lesser angle turn at that time this slider 
moves from this position to this position that is this should be your return stroke so in these two conditions we have to determine maximum velocities maximum velocity is obtained when this op is coincidence with oa that means when this sliders are exactly at the middle position of these two extreme positions when this slider is at middle position that means when op is with coincident with oa either in this direction or here in this direction in that two cases velocity will be maximum so we will determine velocity one by one in both the cases so here you can see it is when rotating uh, when it reaches here when op reaches here at that particular position velocity will be maximum now you can see at this moment it is moving towards right side direction that means it is a return stroke so we are determining velocity uh, maximum velocity during return stroke that is uh, maximum velocity of slider during uh, return stroke we are determining first now in this particular case you can see uh, i have drawn all these points again i have written t here Q on AR I have here. Now this OP is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So mark this anti-clockwise direction. Slider is moving in this direction. And this o, uh, this velocity of P with respect to O is towards this direction because this, this is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So this line is horizontal line because OP is in perpendicular position now. So this, this line is horizontal towards right. Now this uh, crank is rotating with same angular velocity omega, so that is 10.47 radian per second. So VP will be same, 0.942 meter per second. Now in this particular case, uh, we are not going to use any scale, uh, scale or uh, protector. Any, uh, any drawing equipments are not required. You can directly mark one point here, and you can draw one line. Freehand line you can draw, and mark this point as point P, velocity of point P this uh, velocity of this slider with respect to O towards this direction in horizontal direction and this represents 0.942 meter per second so you can draw any line you can draw line of any length and you can name this uh, you can mark this as 0.942 meter per second now velocity of Q with respect to P and velocity of Q with respect to A uh, now you can see that Q is on AR so velocity of Q with respect to A will be perpendicular to AQ and velocity of Q with respect to P will be along this AR uh, that means from P draw one line so I have drawn one line from P which is along this line AR along AR uh, in this line you should get point Q similarly velocity of Q with respect to A will be perpendicular to AQ uh, that means in horizontal direction so from A I have drawn one horizontal line so you can see that this horizontal line and this vertical line intersecting at the same point where P is lying. So Q is coincident with P. So there will be no relative motion between P and Q. So there is no relative motion between P and Q. And both have same velocities that is equal to 0 0.942 meter per second. So once you get Q, you can get R. The same relation, I, last time we have developed one equation. So another equation I have developed here, you can see uh, this equation is different than what we have taken in previous uh, case. Here I have written AQ divided by AR. So you can take anything here. Uh, only thing you must remember that R should not appear in both numerator and denominator. Once you have written capital AQ by capital AR, so this must be equal to small aq, same thing you have to write in small letters, aq divided by ar. Now from this you can determine ar. Now what is aq? aq you can see this a to q. So this is equal to ao minus op. So ao minus op is equal to aq. So ao is, ao is, ao means this is 300 mm minus op is 90 mm. So 300 minus 90 is uh, 210. So that's what I have written. So this AQ is 210 and AR, AR is already given, directly given AR is 480 mm. So this is 480 mm. So I have written here 480 mm. Equal to this length, I have written 0 0.942. I have not measured. I have just drawn freehand uh, line I have drawn here. Uh, but this length is 0 0.942. So I have written 0 0.942 here. From this, you can calculate AR. AR equal to 2.15. So now mark this R. So R should be uh, in the same line. A, Q and R should be in same line. So A, this is point Q. So you should extend this line. In that line, you have to mark point R. 
so i have marked this point r here again this line you have you can take any length of line here but it should be same horizontal line once you have marked r here so a to r this length is 2.15 so this length is 2.15 you just write this length as 2.15 so once you get this point r you can get this value of s uh, you, you can get this point s which should be perpendicular to rs so from r from r draw one line which is perpendicular to rs i have written i have drawn just one line which is uh, roughly i have drawn which is roughly perpendicular to rs now velocity of s with respect to t so this point is t and with respect to t velocity of s is in horizontal direction so from t i have drawn one horizontal line in this line only you should get point s so intersection of this line and this horizontal line is the same so again s is coincident with point r so there is no relative motion between this r and s and both are having same velocity which is equal to 2.15 so this point is your r s so what you need is velocity of s so that is vector ts so this vector ts from t to s this length and this length we have already shown we have already calculated this length is 2.15 so this is 2.15 meter per second so this is our answer that is the maximum velocity of this slider during return stroke is 2.15 meter per second maximum velocity during cutting stroke so what you have to do just i am rotating this so once it is reached here at this particular position the velocity of slider will be maximum when it is in uh, when this op is coincident with ar so again you can mark all these points you can start drawing velocity diagram so this is anti clockwise direction rotating with same angular velocity 10.47 radian per second same velocity of velocity of uh, slider is same 0.942 meter per second Uh, now at this particular position uh, it is perpendicular to op that is in horizontal direction but towards left side so somewhere here we will mark all the fixed points oat from o draw one line which is perpendicular to uh, this one uh, vertical line that means this is horizontal line again i have drawn uh, free hand uh, with any length and just mark this point as 0.942 so this point is p once you get p you can get value of q the same way from p i have drawn one line which is vertical line which is that means this uh, p and q these two are uh, moving in this uh, relative motion between q and p will be along this direction along this ar this uh, this guide along this guide so i have drawn this line from p so in this vertical line you will get q but at the same time velocity of q with respect to a will be perpendicular to aq perpendicular to aq means in horizontal direction so from a i have drawn one line which is in horizontal direction in this line only you should get value of q uh, in this line only you will get um, point q so this will be uh, coincident with p so again you are getting q at the same position so there will be no relative motion between p and q so p and q will have same velocity that is equal to 0.942 meter per second now to get value of r the same way we will determine we will develop this equation so aq divided by ar same equation which we have used previously we are using here so small aq divided by small ar now in this case value of aq a to q so aq is equal to oa this is oa plus op so th that will be your aq so oa and op op is 90 oa and is 300 so this will be 3 into 3 390 so aq will be 390 and ar is given directly given 480 mm so i have written this 480 mm now aq is we have already calculated 0.942 from this you will get value of ar calculated so you are getting 1.16 so r should be in the same line joining a with q so a this point is q and this point is r so all these three points are in same line so a q so r should be somewhere here and equal to uh, length is equal to 1.1 again you can draw this line of any length uh, free hand you can draw and uh, and just mark this point as r and show this distance as 1.16 so once you get this 1.16 this point r you have obtained so s should be perpendicular to rs from r i have drawn one line which is perpendicular to rs i have just rough you have you can draw 
because velocity of s with respect to t is along horizontal direction so this is point t from t draw one horizontal line so it is uh, that means t s is also appearing in the same line the same intersection same point r so it is coincident with r so here only you will get point s so once you get point s you can see that there is no relative motion between r and s r and s are having same relative motion and same velocity and their velocity is equal to 1.16 meter per second now you need velocity of s the velocity of s is equal to vector ts from here to here and this length is 1.16 meter per second so in this way you are getting this velocity of slider during cutting stroke so you can see that during cutting stroke uh, maximum velocity is uh, lesser compared to during return stroke return stroke is having more velocity compared to uh, cutting stroke velocity so this is the maximum velocity during cutting stroke that that's what we uh, are required to find in this particular question thank you for watching this video